Hey everybody, hello and welcome back to our channel Info Island and also welcoming you all to our daily current affairs segment where we will be covering all the latest news and happenings from around the world. Keeping abreast of current affairs is very crucial in today's world and our main aim is to provide you with the most important news of the day in an engaging and informative manner. So guys, as you're aware, it's 18th of June 2023 and here we are ready with the current affairs video of today. So yes, let's quickly get into the video and look for the questions and answers of today's current affairs video. Okay guys, so the very first question we have, uh, which term refers to the phenomenon when the currency which is in circulation rising when the digital payments are rising and the options are option a currency demand paradox option b digital demand paradox option c bank note paradox or is it the option d finance paradox so the correct answer is option a that is currency demand paradox currency demand paradox happens when the currency which is in circulation is rising when the digital payments are rising as well. This phenomenon is commonly seen in India. The Reserve Bank of India has explained the currency demand paradox in India. While UPI-led retail di digital payments grew at a CJ CAGR of 50% and 27% in terms of volume and value during the year, 2016 to 2017 to 2021 to 2022. The currency in circulation to GDP ratio, that is gross domestic product ratio, also peaked at 14.4% in the year 2020 to 2021. I have a question number two. What is the name of the waste water that is disposed during the crude oil excavation and processing? And the options are option number A, formation water. Option B, deposit water. Option C, bio water. Or is it the option D that is processed water? So the correct answer is option A, that is formation water. Formation water is the waste water which is disposed during the crude oil excavation and processing. A mixture with plant-based biomaterial, biosurfactant and NPK fertilizer is found to restore such kind of formation water. It was first discovered by the scientists of the Institute of Advanced Study in Science and Technology, that is IASST in short. Up, we have question number three. Kakhovka Dam, which was seen in the news recently, is located in which of the following countries? Is it the option A, Ukraine? Option B, South Africa? Option C, Australia, or option D, New Zealand. So the correct answer is option A, that is Ukraine. Kakhovka Dam is a Soviet-era dam on the Nitro River. This dam, which separates Russian and Ukrainian forces in southern Ukraine, was breached recently, unleashing floodwaters across the war zone. Ukraine's military and NATO, they have accused Russia of blowing up the dam, while Russia has blamed Ukraine for the same. Thousands of people, they have been evacuated recently from, from low-lying areas in here. We have question number four. INS Trishul will take part in a commemorative event at which of the following country to mark the 130th anniversary of the anti apartheid struggle. And the options are option A, South Africa, 
ऑप्शन बी यूएसए ऑप्शन सी यूके और इज इट दी ऑप्शन डी ओके सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए दैट इज साउथ अफ्रीका द इंडियन नेवी विल टेक पार्ट इन अ कॉमेमोरेटिव इवेंट एट पियोटर मरिट्सबर्ग रेलवे स्टेशन नियर डर्बन to mark the 130th anniversary of the anti apartheid struggle INS Trishul will visit Durban to honor the incident and the 30 year re-establishment of diplomatic relations between India and South Africa Next we have question number 5 Malvia National Institute of Technology that is MNIT of which of the following city has been identified as national center for earthquake safety of dams and the options are option a amritsar option b jaipur option c mumbai or is it the option d bhopal so the correct answer is option b that is jaipur Malvia National Institute of Technology that is MNIT in Jaipur has been identified as the National Center for Earthquake Safety of Dams. This is the very first center which is uh, of this kind in the country. The center will develop indigenous capabilities in making the country self-reliant in the process of handling technology issues related to structural and earthquake safety of dams next up we have question number 6 what is varunastra what is varunastra which was recently tested and the options are option a surface to surface missile option b air to water missile option c anti submarine torpedo or is it the option d that is patrol vessel so the correct answer is option c that is anti submarine torpedo the varunastra is an indian advanced heavy weight anti submarine torpedo it is developed by naval science and technological laboratory of the defense research and development organization that is drdo for the indian navy recently the torpedo was successfully test fired with a live warhead against an undersea target which is placed 40 kilometers away in the arabian sea Next up we have question number 7 which of the following country has recently announced that russian and chinese military aircraft entered its air defense identification zone that is adiz and the options are option a ukraine option b south korea option c usa or is it the option d that is japan so the correct answer is option b that is south korea recently south korea has announced that four russian and four chinese military aircraft have entered its adiz well uh, while adiz stands for air defense identification zone and what is this particular thing that is adiz so an adiz is the air space of a country plus an additional wider area over land and water in which a country tries to identify locate and control any civil aircraft in the interest of the national security next up we have question number 8 What is the outlay of exploration of coal and lignite scheme from the year 2021 to 2025 And the options are option A rupees 298 crores 
Option B, rupees 798 crores. Option C, rupees 2980 crores. Or is it the option D, that is rupees 7980 crores? So the correct answer is option C, that is rupees 2980 crores. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs, that is CCEA, recently approved the continuation of the exploration of coal and lignite scheme. The central sector scheme will be implemented from the year 2021 to 2022 to 2025 to 2026 with an estimated expenditure of Rs. 2,980 crores. Next up, we have question number nine. Which of the following institution launched the national campaign Addiction Free Amrit Kal? And the options are option A, Niti Aayog. Option B, FSSAI. Option C, NCPCR. Or is it the option D, that is IMA. So the correct answer is option C, that is NCPCR. The national campaign that is Addiction Free Amrit Kal was recently launched by the National Commission for Protection of Child Rights, that is NCPCR in short. Its main aim is to make India a tobacco-free and drug-free na nation among children. The theme of World No Tobacco Day this year is We Need Food, Not Tobacco. That brings us to the last question of today's current affairs video, question number 10. ABA first runner, AFR, is the maiden satellite of which of the following country based company? And the options are option A, Russia, option B, India, option C, Israel, or is it the option D? UAE, that is United Arab Emirates. So the correct answer is option B, that is India. ABA first runner, that is AFR, is the maiden satellite of India's Azista BST Aerospace. It was it will be launched by the Falcon 9 rocket. Azista BST Aerospace, that is ABA is a joint venture between Azista Industries Private Limited and Berlin Space Technologies GmbH. The ABA first runner AFR is an 80 km kilograms satellite and has an optical remote sensing payload with both panchromatic and multispectral imaging capabilities. So guys, here uh, we have shared some of the abbreviations that we saw in the questions uh, recently that we have shared in the video. And yes, these abbreviations are much more important with the perspective of your competitive exams. And yes, so with the help of these abbreviation, it will be a bit easier for you guys to know about the uh, terminologies of those uh, respective terms. So the very first that we discussed in the questions recently, CAGR, that stands for Compound annual growth rate. Secondly, uh, the NPK fertilizers that we did share in the question stands for nitrogen, as in N stands for nitrogen, P stands for phosphorus, and K stands for potassium because uh, the chemical formula of potassium starts with A, that is why potassium. Uh, thirdly, NATO. NATO stands for North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Next, it's uh, INS. Well, INS stands for Indian Naval Ship. Next, we have uh, on number five, FSSAI. 
that stands for Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. Next, number six, that is NCPCR, which stands for National Commission for Protection of Child Rights. And at last, number seven, IMA, which stands for Institute of Management Accountants. So guys, these are the very most important uh, terminologies and the abbreviations and the expansion of these abbreviations are very much important in order to know the, uh, you, know, you know, the know the expansion and know the meaning of that particular terminology. So please try to learn them and memorize them as they are going to help you in your examination as there are chances that you might come across some of these uh, terminologies in your examination paper. To the end of today's current affairs video and yes whether you are a student a business person a professional or simply someone who is looking to stay informed and stay updated you will find valuable information or insights and ideas in our daily current affairs segment so guys keep on following us keep on looking for the current affairs video that we do share on our channel almost daily and yes, uh, that's all for today's update on daily current affairs video. If you found this informative, please subscribe to our channel Info Island for more daily news updates. Don't forget to leave a comment down below in the comment section with your thoughts of today's stories. And yes, also, if you have any news tips or stories that you would like us to cover, then feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And uh, yes, Thank you so much for watching and uh, do like, share and subscribe to our channel Info Island and hit the bell icon given next to the subscribe button in order to stay updated and informed along with us. Thank you so much for watching. Keep learning, keep sharing and keep supporting.